So this is a quick little video, video tutorial to show you how to download a video from YouTube with a Safari extension. I know Gary's made a little tutorial talking about a Firefox extension, but here's a Safari extension for those of you that are Safari lovers. What you need to do first, you need to open up Safari and up on the top toolbar, go to Safari and then down to Preferences. Click on the button that says Extensions and hit the switch to turn extensions on. Close that window. Now, go and do a Google search for something called YouTube 5. This first link seems to work pretty well, so click on that vertical forest link. And then about halfway down the page, click on this link that says download YouTube 5 here. Okay, in your download window, you'll see the YouTube 5 Safari extension package. Double click on that, click on install. Okay, so let's check to see if it installed. Back in Safari, go up to Safari, down to Preferences, and your YouTube 5 installer should be ready to go. You notice that you can use this for YouTube, also for Vimeo, and Facebook videos as well. All right, let's close that. I'm going to go back to the video that I found that I want to download. And what I need to do is I need to refresh this page. And what you'll see is the videos now, from now on, your videos on YouTube will look a little bit different. You'll see the spinner looks slightly different. You'll see a little link down here in the corner. That said, return to original player. But more importantly is this little icon up here in the top right. This little information button. Click on that, and you'll see that you can go back to the original player if you'd like to. But you get two file options. This middle one is an MP4, and the bottom one is a flash file. What you're going to do is pick the file that you want. I'm going to pick the MP4 play, uh, version, which is this middle one, and hold the control button on your keyboard, and then click on that, and then hit download linked file. So I'm going to click on that, and your download window will pop open. And you'll see in just a second here, the video should download right to my hard drive. If you want a flash video, you would do the same thing. Hold the control button and then click. Really, the only difference if you use the original player is that you won't see the little I button show up there. And the controls look a little bit different. Okay, so my video is downloading and we got it. So now if I double click on the video here, there's my video that's downloaded right to my hard drive. Independent from YouTube, I can then save that, burn it to a disk if I wanted to. I could import into a PowerPoint or into a Smartboard file and do whatever you want with an independent video file. So if you have any questions, contact Mark Kircher at the high school or Gary Cimarelli at the high school as well.